your past. But I can offer you a purpose. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ways Snake Eyes is different from the rest of the G.I. Joe franchise. I can offer you. I'll be coming with you to retrieve the warheads. We go with Don. Why defend yourself to man too blind to see? For this list, we're looking at the major ways this solo outing differs from the other two action-packed films. If you haven't seen all three G.I. Joe live-action films, beware of spoilers ahead. What was your favorite scene in Snake Eyes? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Scarlet Stands Out So we found no peace to Japan. Alongside our allies, the Joes. When we first see Scarlet in Snake Eyes, she's communicating with her allies while bad guys approach her. She takes a page out of Black Widow's book and beats up enemies with her fists and a melee weapon while on the phone. Scarlet's flawless fighting technique is one of the first hints this was a fresh take on the character. While she wasn't afraid to jump into the battlefield in the original franchise, she often defeated opponents with intelligence instead of brawn. That version of Scarlet didn't really get to branch out without her team and served as a love interest. The newer take on the character is completely independent and is a much more fearsome fighter. Maybe Scarlet should get an origin movie next. Very intense, but super fun. Kind of like learning how to dance, but you are bruised at the end. Number 9. The action's much sharper. Do it. The first two G.I. Joe films were full to the brim with over-the-top shootouts and explosive set pieces. Snake Eyes shakes up the usual formula by making most of the action scenes smaller. Although that might sound like a downgrade, the fights in the solo film are much more complex. He's got years of knowledge of choreography and sword play, samurai stuff. That sword work is the best I've ever seen. The intricate choreography, talented stunt work, and emphasis on melee weapons like swords make each clash tense, fun, and absolutely unpredictable. It also helps that characters have to fight off small armies of goons several times. While you won't find any crazy aerial battles in Snake Eyes, the smaller and complex action scenes will still keep you entertained. We all know Snake Eyes as this absolute weapon. So I knew I had to step up my game. With Kenji Tanigaki, we did such an intensive training course. Number 8. A darker meaning behind the nickname If you're walking around with a name as badass as Snake Eyes, you probably have a good reason for it. In the original franchise, Snake Eyes started going by that name after he met his teacher Hardmaster. Oh. What shall we call you? But the solo film tells a more grim story. When Snake Eyes was young, his father was a member of G.I. Joe who was hunted and found by Cobra operatives. The villain said the poor Joe could live if he rolled a high number on a set of playing dice. But he rolled Snake Eyes and was assassinated while his son was nearby. After that fateful day, the warrior known as Snake Eyes wore that name as a constant reminder of his tragic past. It's yours, if you want it. Let's go. Number 7. When Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow Became Close The relationship between Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow is probably one of the greatest relationships ever created. Throughout the franchise, these two warriors have a heated rivalry that stems from one bad incident. But before they were at each other's throats, they were friends. The original franchise showed the two meeting when they were kids. In the Snake Eyes film, they don't get to know each other until they're adults. Storm Shadow, who was going by Tommy at the time, initially didn't take Snake Eyes seriously, but the two become close after they fight off Yakuza members together. You saved my life. We are going home. I don't have a home. Not yours. Mine. While Tommy is a skilled Arashkagi warrior at this point in his life, Snake Eyes has a lot of catching up to do. Despite them meeting as adults, the history of the franchise repeats itself. After training together, their bonds of friendship are broken. You are the only brother I've ever known. I would pay you back with my life if I had to. Number 6. The Baroness is not redeemed this time. I've been following you for some time. Do I know you? I know you. 
Snake Eyes. This iconic G.I. Joe femme fatale is infamous for stirring up trouble wherever she goes. Throughout Snake Eyes, the Baroness doesn't seem to have any issues with assassinating enemies or causing mass devastation. But the original franchise painted a different picture of the villain. During G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra, it's revealed that the Baroness was essentially brainwashed by her brother into becoming a villain. You can't save me, Duke. No one can, not after all I've done. Look, that wasn't you. She eventually allies with the Joes to take her former Cobra bosses down. Although Baroness works with the Joes briefly in Snake Eyes, she hilariously abandons them when their mission gets too dangerous. The new Baroness clearly isn't ready to be a heroine yet. Cobra will annihilate you. Number 5. Enter Akiko. Join us. What do I have to do? Let's find out. While Snake Eyes is training with the Arashkagi clan, he meets Akiko. She's shown to be an extremely skilled warrior who is completely loyal to her allies. Although Akiko was initially an outsider, she is willing to fight her allies if it's necessary to protect the Arashkagi. Her constant suspicion of Snake Eyes creates a really interesting dynamic between the duo. I still think this is a mistake. I think I would endanger this clan. Surprisingly, Akiko didn't exist in the franchise before this point. Although Jinx played a similar role as an Arashkagi ninja that was linked closely to Snake Eyes, he was the mentor in that relationship. Introducing Akiko as a badass ninja that shows Snake Eyes the ropes was a great move for the franchise. They're going to start a war. I'm sorry. This isn't my fight. Then tell me why you're here. Number 4. Leaning into Magic and Mysticism both the Joes and members of Cobra have access to technology that's so advanced it might as well be magic. Standing in front of you, a Delta-6 accelerator suits. What's it accelerate? You. It'll make you run faster, jump higher, and hit harder than any of your enemies. Over the years, we've seen tiny robots alter people's faces, combat armor turn fighters into literal super soldiers, and space weapons that can destroy cities. Now you're looking at an advanced weapon system we call Project Zeus. There are seven Zeus satellites orbiting Earth. Snake Eyes is the only franchise film so far to feature advanced tech while fully embracing more magical elements. Not only does the movie feature an ancient item that can cause anyone to spontaneously combust, it also has giant snakes that look like they were ripped out of Harry Potter. Adding mystical elements can help this franchise tell fresh stories. And it also means there's a tiny chance we might see The Rock's roadblock character fight a giant animal. Of course, the wolf flies. Number 3. How Storm Shadow Falls from Grace Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow are the brother loyalty story. I can offer you a purpose. It's very yin and yang. The ninja in black, ninja in white. How did a noble member of the Arashkagi clan become a villain? During the first G.I. Joe movies, Storm Shadow was accused of slaying the clan's hard master. He was seen as a villain for years until it was revealed that he was framed. I am sorry, Storm Shadow, but who would stand to gain the most by framing you for this crime? In Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow begins the film as a man named Tommy who is in the running to lead his clan. But he breaks an important rule when he attempts to angrily destroy an enemy with fiery magic. Although Tommy devoted his life to the clan, he loses his birthright because of this one transgression and becomes Storm Shadow. While the warrior did commit the crime this time around, his descent into villainy is still tragic. I've asked myself over and over, who despised me enough to destroy my life? Number 2. The One Who Recruits Storm Shadow After Storm Shadow loses everything in Snake Eyes, he gets a visit from the Baroness. I came to make you an offer, Tommy. Call me Storm Shadow. She offers to give him the power he would have had if he was still part of his clan. Storm Shadow accepts and begins the journey to join Cobra. He was manipulated into making that same choice in the original films. In G.I. Joe Retaliation, it's revealed that Cobra operative Zartan was the one who cut down the Hardmaster and framed a young Storm Shadow. Zartan. Yes. Tell us what he and Cobra have planned. Zartan then found the child and convinced him to join Cobra. This plan ended badly when Storm Shadow uncovered the truth and rebelled against the evil organization. Time will tell if Tommy will turn on Cobra after the events of Snake Eyes. Traitor. Storm. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Snake Eyes is not all good. I can offer you. You can always count on Snake Eyes to do the right thing in the first two G.I. Joe films, but he's much less noble in his solo outing. Snake Eyes is so obsessed with getting revenge on the man who assassinated his father that he betrays all of his allies to get his hands on the villain. The assassin, a Joe, call sign Snake Eyes. Not only does he constantly lie to Storm Shadow's face, he also steals a magical item from the Arishkagi clan that Cobra intends to use for world domination. Fortunately, Snake Eyes sees the error of his ways and stops the villains from winning. But this version of the character still has a long way to go before he lives up to his reputation as a noble warrior. Why? I looked into your eyes. I saw honor. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.